What is going on, y'all? Travis here, back with the next episode of Criminal Minds, Season 3, Episode 5. Let us get into it, shall we? Paging Katie Jacobs. Katie Jacobs, please report to security. 911. My niece, uh -oh. she's gone. She's, she's missing. Ma'am, where are you? The mall in Potomac Mills. She's only six. Her mom and her dad can't find her. Who am I speaking with? Susan Jacobs. Susan, can you tell me your niece's name? Katie. Oh, quick, security's just not. Katie what? No, oh, Jacobs. And where was Katie last seen? This isn't happening. Ma'am, stay with me. Someone took her. Oh my God. <laughs> Attention all patrons. We have gone into immediate lockdown procedure. Attention all patrons. We have gone into immediate lockdown. Where are the parents? Over here with the head of security. Miss Samuels, Mr. and Mrs. Jacobs, I'm James Franklin. We need a photo of your daughter. You have one on you? There was another little girl who went missing. Maybe on your phone? You got a picture of Katie on your phone? She disappeared from a mall, too. She was murdered, right? It's too early to know if that case is connected. Then why so many FBI? Standard operating procedure. If there is a pattern to these abductions, they'll find it. Thank you. Stay with them. Dad doesn't seem very distraught. Been locked down for almost 20 minutes. Another female, same age, same time of day. What makes you sure Katie Jacobs is still in the building? Surveillance video confirms Katie entering the building, but no sign of her leaving. Whoever killed Jessica Davis last week left that mall with her because he wanted time with his victim and privacy. He wouldn't stray from his MO. He wouldn't leave here without his victim. Katie's still under this roof, so is her abductor. And I need all data from every search team. We'll treat them all like a neighborhood. We'll separate into areas of control. 117 stores, 73 dressing rooms. Six men's rooms, six ladies' rooms, seven restaurants. They need restaurants, to chill on the camera work. Y'all being a little shaky. Operators. Every team's going to need a copy of this. Katie was last seen by her cousin in the arcade about 25 minutes ago. Registered offenders located within a 45-mile range. Okay, run this against current and former employees as well. I read the Jessica Davis report. I know you found the remains last week. In the years, never seen anything like it. I joined the Bureau to rescue people, not to stand over another dead kid. Well, hopefully you won't have to. Wrong place at the wrong time. No sense. How does a parent reconcile that? They never do. You want every inch of surveillance footage? Because I need to examine it frame by frame to see if there's anything in the background you guys missed. Miss Jacobs' cell phone had Katie's picture on it. Okay, we need to get one of these to every search team. Potential witnesses need to know who we're looking for, too. Problem is, our unsub could be any one of them. There's her parents. Hi, we're agents Jerome Prentice with the BAU. We're here to walk you through this. There's a whole underbelly beneath our feet. Subterranean level, air ducts, boiler rooms. It'll take at least three hours to cover this place. We have less than half that time. 99% of abducted children who are killed die within the first 24 hours. Oh, shit. Yeah, what do you got? This is surveillance footage off an exit camera outside the arcade. Can't you get a better angle? I'm not London here. I can only work with what they had. The 1980s just called. They want their security system back. Look in the far right middle section. Yeah, that's Katie. Barely got an image of her, let alone who she was with. Can you enhance the image for me? I can start the process. We don't have that kind of time. Where are you going? And who are you with? Huh. Dostoevsky once said, nothing is easier than denouncing the evildoer. Nothing more difficult than understanding it. This image was captured moments before your nephew reported Katie missing. Is there anything or anyone in the frame that you recognize? Uh, no. No. Katie has asthma. She needs her inhaler. How, how could someone have just taken her in front of all those people? We're retracing Katie's steps. We're going over surveillance footage, We're searching every crack and crevice under this roof. I want to be out there looking for my girl. When an abduction is reported, the parents are debriefed separately. It's more efficient that way. What do you want to know? Did Katie have any connection at all to Jessica Davis? No. There is no connection. Maybe a dance class, a, a, a church group. I think Katie will end up like that. No, not at Mrs. Jacobs. Uh, is that what you're trying to tell I'm me? I'm trying to find your daughter. Look at me. <laughs> I know it's excruciating, but I have to ask these questions, okay? <sighs> Just breathe. <sighs> okay. Katie? Jacobs. So she and her cousin came in here about 30 minutes ago, and that was the last time anyone saw Katie? He could be panicking right about now, realizing he's got a witness. A single abduction like this would normally be classified as a snatch and grab. Jessica Davis abduction, it's more likely we're dealing with a preferential offender. He came to this mall knowing what he was looking for. When you and your cousin were Maybe going in an and out employee. of stores, did anybody try to talk to her? I don't think so. Did somebody maybe compliment her hair, open the door for you guys? He wasn't exactly paying attention. Yes, I was. You'd think after all my years in retail, I'd hate the mall. It was convenient. She was right next to me, I swear. We split up because I had to shop for my husband's birthday. I should have stayed near the kids. It's not fair. Now I wish we never left the house this morning. How are all these questions getting us any closer to finding her? It means she might have trusted the offender, which can tell us a lot. Well, then explain to me what happened to her. She might have walked off with someone in uniform. No, I meant Jessica. I want to know what happened to that girl. Katie! 
Why are they so interested Katie, about Katie her? Jacob. I mean, I get it, but like... Katie Jacob. You know, this may all be a mistake. Katie might just be lost, maybe in some bookstore or something. She loves to read. Uh, she could just be in a corner, just... Or maybe playing dress-up in a store or something. He's being weird, too. The two brothers are being fucking weird, man. I don't know what it is. Katie Jacob. We, we asked your mom and dad if we could talk privately. Because my dad thinks this is my fault. No, times like this, people get really emotional. Hey, kid. The moments right before a kidnapping like this are the most important. You gotta understand you're the only one who can help us with that. Uh, but I can't remember. Jeremy, all we need is the last thing Katie did or said before you realized she was gone. What? What? What is it? Talk Asthma. What? I can't read. Uh, you're, you're having a panic attack. Sit down. Put your head between your knees. Put your head between your knees. That's right. Just breathe. Is that Katie's? Yeah. She didn't like it with her sneakers today. Said it didn't match. <laughs> Would you mind if we borrowed that sweater? It would help the search dogs to pick up her scent. Whoever abducted Katie did so by looking at her as an object. If there's the slightest chance he has a conscience. I feel like the camera is not. moving around way like more than. How would you do that? We wouldn't. Other episodes we've watched. You would. Making me nauseous. Hot. My guess is Jeremy the herder saw something that could be useful. The guilt has manifested itself into an acute stress disorder. The kid can't remember a thing. Take him back to the scene and do a cognitive interview. Do you have kids? No, not yet. Everyone that needs us, we think of as our own. I don't know if I can do this. Just stay calm. Don't address what he's done. It'll only make him defensive. Keep the focus on Katie, all right? We need him to hear who she is. No one knows that better than you. My name is Beth Jacobs. 45 minutes ago, our daughter Katie went missing. She's only six years old. Last month, she started first grade. Katie oh no, not the pink balloon. Very much. We just want her back safe. The other day, Katie told me that she was ready to ride a big girl's bike without training wheels. And I promised her that she could do that on her birthday. <gasps> Please, whoever you are. Those two brothers look alike. Act are they actual brothers? We just want our daughter back to us safely. Katie is just a little girl. She's just a little girl who deserves another birthday. Only seven seconds I was able to decipher. What are we looking at? Surveillance footage shows Katie exiting the arcade. It follows her movements through the crowd. She went north. Until she disappears. I mean, I still can't make out who she was with. Seven seconds. All it takes for a child to disappear. The only stores in the vicinity. Furniture, stationery, or bedding. Nothing that a six-year-old would leave an arcade for. Unless it wasn't a store that caught her eye. Who once followed Todd Cortell the entire length of Silver Beach because he had a kite. So what are you youngsters playing these days? I like DOA. DOA? As in dead on arrival? It's dead or alive. What do you like so much about it, Jeremy? The close combat. It's all about timing. Plus, I'm really good at it. <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. Maybe too. they're just playing hide and seek. So, uh, what was the first game that you walked to when you came in here earlier? The ghost trail stops cold. Because that vent is depositing air from the food court. The dog is overwhelmed by the smell. Katie Jacobs! I can't let you do that. I'm his mother, for God's sake. I'll take care of this. Jeremy's talking with two of our agents right now. He might be feeling a bit responsible somehow one minute you're having a lighter and grave for your husband and the next minute katie's name is being paged i never thought something like this could happen to our family nobody ever does what are they doing to my son it's a sensory method of questioning we're hoping it'll help jeremy remember what happened before he realized katie was gone i'm gonna ask you to close your eyes for a minute i want you to go back to when you first walked in the arcade a little earlier in your mind i want you to try and picture what it sounded like in here picture what it smelled like was it crowded it was loud. Some kid was yelling at his game. Die! Die! You're mine! Now die! Jeremy, I don't like it here. I want to find my mommy. Stop whining. I gave you a quarter. Now go play a game. What's making you so uncomfortable, Jeremy? I don't like it here. <laughs> what was she crying about? I don't remember. I couldn't hear. Jeremy, go back to the video game. It's not what the video That's just me. showed us. And how'd that make you feel? Awesome. Proud of myself. Kind of embarrassed. Embarrassed? How? Like people were watching me. Why were you self-conscious? Who was watching you? I could smell our shampoo. Katie's? No. Please go. Can we please go? Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Jeremy, I don't like it here. You like that game, huh? You want to play? Switch back and forth for combo attacks. 
Please, Jerry. I have extra quarters. Please, Jerry. I want an ice cream. What the hell? Katie? Katie? Katie was asking for ice cream. Yeah. Is there something else? No. You did good, kid. Picked up Katie. He's involved somehow. In here. Just a lot of half-eaten food, empty cups, and this. What'd you find? Some necklace in the trash, bag and labeled in case there's any connection. There is. Katie was wearing it. She found it in the schoolyard about a year ago. This is 24 karat gold and the stones are real. Is there any reason that Katie would have lied? No. How far do you live from here? About a mile. Do you mind if we search your house? Of course not. What do you think you're gonna find there? It's just protocol. Excuse me. What is he not telling us? The clasp is damaged like it was ripped off of her neck. Then they tossed it in the trash. The doctor just wants to fulfill his earth. Wouldn't take the time. This is motivated by rage. It's personal. David Westerfield kidnapped Danielle Van Damme out of revenge. This may not be related to last week's abduction after all. I think it was clearly somebody in the family because... Somebody lit a fire last night. Well, there's dirty dishes for three in the kitchen, so they eat together as a family. My favorite movie from when I was a kid. So they watch movies together too. By a fireplace in a house that's in a cookie cutter neighborhood. Norman Rockwell couldn't have painted this any cozier. That's what worries me. Is there anyone in your life you would consider a threat? I don't understand. Now you don't think it's connected to the other case? We're not sure. Why would someone we know do this? Katie Jacobs. I just have a couple of questions I want to ask you. Are there any families in your neighborhood? She said, "Why would with? somebody I kn My we know did this?" Or an employee that you might have fired? Yeah. Or where are you going with this? Katie's necklace didn't fall off by itself, and it's possible that she knows the offender. Yeah, well, why, why would any... No, no, no. We get along with everyone in our neighborhood, and uh, Katie loves all of her, her all of her friends at school. He's being sketchy I mean, as I, fuck. Uh, I taught my daughter well. Why would you say I've taught my daughter well and not we've taught our daughter well? You know what I mean. Are there marital issues that I should know about? You son of a bitch! My daughter is missing, and you want to turn this around? That. And I'm concerned, which is why I've asked you the question. My family means everything to me. Finding Katie is everything to me. No, we are not participating in any affairs. Okay. Katie? Katie Jacobs? Katie's been wetting her bed. A lot of six year olds do. Could be bad dreams. Some kids won't get up at night because they're afraid of the dark. Or it could be a lot more complex than that. Most girls covet their dolls like an extension of themselves. Reed, I know these signs. Acting out on her toys, wetting the bed, she's obviously covering up something about that necklace. Is there something else? No. And her cousin might be holding something back. Katie's in a lot of pain and not telling anybody, and I think I know why. Hodge. I think Katie's being molested. And we both know the odds. Most likely by somebody under the same roof. If Mr. Jacobs bought his own daughter a necklace, nobody would think twice about that. So why would Katie lie? She didn't, because her father didn't buy her the necklace. Get back here as soon as you can. Who did? We need to separate the boy and his father of two rooms now. The uncle? Katie Jacobs? Katie? No, sir. What's going on here? We are questioning Jeremy in another room. Why? We suspect that he may know something. About Katie? From you, Mr. Jacobs, we'd like to know more about your son. What's going on? Did you find Katie? Jeremy, how old are you? 13. Wow. When I was 13, I was starting to notice girls, too. I was curious, but uh, I was, like, really awkward, so it was super hard for me to talk to them. I found that incredibly frustrating. Why are you telling me this? Because I think I understand you. You're in the arcade, pretty girl walks in, and you get distracted by the, the scent of her hair, right? I guess. So what? You're becoming a man. It's, believe it or not, it, it happens to all of us. It's, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Never said there was. And these video games that you play allow you to um, explore your violent side. So, I mean, clearly you're intrigued. My only question is whether or not you acted on these curiosities, experimented yet. Shouldn't you be looking for my cousin right now? I am looking for your cousin right now. Why are you asking me these questions? Why are you avoiding them? What would you like to know? What Jeremy's interests are. He likes to be on the computer. He spends hours at a time. What's going on? Who does he socialize with? I don't know. Kids at school, I suppose. Live under the same roof, but you can't name any of his friends? He spends hours in his room listening to that metal music I don't understand. Has he always been this distant with you, or is this something new? I guess it's always been like this. That's why I don't find it odd. Well, we did some checking, and, uh... We found out that Jeremy, at the ripe age of 13, has a record. Oh. For stealing six months ago. And that didn't strike you as odd? He stole earrings for a girl he liked. When I was his age, I probably did the same thing. We must have really wanted to make an impression on her. So we checked the record, and they were very valuable. We reprimanded him. What was her name? Who? The girl Jeremy liked so much he stole for. I, I don't know. 
Where's parents? He's 13 years old. If he hadn't been arrested, he probably wouldn't even know that he was interested in girls. JJ, can I get him in? Excuse me, where's my brother? He's being questioned, sir. About Jeremy? Do you think Jeremy knows something? They let you all the people the leave, even though they haven't found her yet? When we do know something, I guess you can't detain an entire mall, right? We have to trust that. Excuse us. Well, that was strange. What? You would think during a time like this, Susan would want to know why her son's being detained. She didn't even look to us for an answer. Look at her. She's relaxed enough to sit down. Maybe protecting what composure she has left? No, she I'm knows something's up. Yeah. Hey, Jeremy, do you know what I do for the FBI? Study human behavior, the way you're pushing your chair away from me? It tells me that what I'm saying is making you uncomfortable. Like you're trying to distance yourself from me, maybe from what I'm capable of reading about you. Whatever. Case in point, you bite your inner cheek. It's a nervous tick, like you're uh, holding on to something, doing it right now. You're also doing it inside the arcade. I think you were doing it because maybe, I don't know, maybe you remembered something more than what you told us. I told you everything. I don't think you told us everything. I don't think, I think so either. I think else happened inside that arcade. Something you haven't told anybody yet. Mr. Jacobs. I'm stressed. Let's see. Did uh, Jeremy and Katie spend a lot of time together? Our family spend a lot of time together. He likes his cousin. Does that make you jealous? Why would it? We found that in the trash. You know your niece likes to read books and play dress up, but you don't know the first thing about your own son. Typically, molesters only pay attention to the children that they're grooming, ignoring even their own. Katie wore that necklace because you told her to, because you told her she was special, as if the sexual abuse wasn't enough. That when it started, when she started wetting the bed, when her parents came to you and Susan, wondering why their daughter locked herself in her room, is that when the molestation started? You're crazy! Like so many little girls before, you started I spending more time here. with her and telling her she was special. Your brother's own daughter. Shut up! She outgrow your preference? Shut up! Did she get too old for you? No! Sick fuck. Now, I may have done some things that you couldn't possibly understand but i would never hurt katie whoever ripped the necklace off katie did it in a rage and he just seems broken one minute i'm having a lighter engraved for my husband the next minute katie's name is being paged the mob you know, for probably the most stressful day of your life i haven't seen you light one cigarette i quit over a month ago you think after all my years in retail i'd hate the mall it was convenient. I don't think the aunt is telling us everything, and this could get dicey. I need to speak with Susan. Did you find her? Uh, no, not yet. Richard? I need to speak with you. Come this way. Ma'am. What are you doing? What's Sir. this about? You used to work in Susan. retail? How is that? I understand. You mentioned it earlier. What you didn't tell me was you used to work in this mall. What does that have to do with anything? Susan! Do you know something? You know this building like the back of your hand. You made sure to separate from the group. Someone tell us something. What the hell is happening? Oh God, Susan, what do you know? Oh God. Come on, let's go. What do you know? What did you do with Katie? Why would you ask me that? You and Richard have been playing the happy family when the truth is you've been separated. Why else didn't you realize he hasn't had a cigarette in over a month? He has no use for a new lighter. Richard and I have been trying to work things out. Did you really believe that getting rid of that little girl would take away his sickness? Did it occur to you last week? After you saw on the news that a little girl was snatched from a local mall, found dead three days later? Jim, you check those, we'll take the ones upstairs. Did you duct tape her mouth too? You know, if you do that to someone with asthma, they can die? This was not supposed to happen to my family. It didn't just happen. A six-year-old vulnerable child trusted you, who trusted your husband. You need to tell me where she is. I don't know what you're talking about. Set her and the husband on fire. This is how Katie sees herself. Self-loathing. Dirty. Disgusting. That is what your husband made her feel. Those nights that she would stay at your house and he would sneak into her room. No, please don't. Do you have don't. any idea how terrified she must have been? While you lay awake protecting an animal who will always have no, those urges. No, please don't. There's she nothing left for you to protect, Susan. Instead of shielding her from more pain, you blamed her for your own. You have robbed Katie of her childhood. Are you gonna steal the rest of her life from her as well? No. Where is she? Hey, hey, hey! This whole pile back here. Hey, hey! Hey, you guys, you guys clear this room for me. Let's go. I got her! I got her! Hey, we need a medic. Somebody move. Let's go. I can't find a pulse. Zip her head back. Open her way. One, two, three. Come on, Katie. Come on. <sighs> Katie! Come on, sweetie. Come on, sweetie. Wake up. <laughs> Bitch. Fuck you. People do some crazy shit. Protect their family. 
Even though that's also their fucking family. Fucking dirt ball. Thank God. <laughs> Is Katie gonna be alright? So what was up with the so why was this she was you think true. did the son know too? I heard her call my mom's name. Uh, that's what I remembered before. We get it, kid. It's your mom. Yeah. What's gonna happen to me now? I don't know, Jeremy, but uh we're gonna make sure you're alright, okay? Imagine Let's both go. your both your parents being disgusting fucks. Susan consoling Katie's mother. It's an image that's gonna haunt me for a while. We could have been left haunted by a lot worse. Thing is, there's still a guy out there who hasn't been caught. I know. There always will be. But today we made a difference. I'll tell you one thing. I had a kid, man. I wouldn't still be standing here. I'll see you around. Take it easy. She's coming. Thanks. Hotch is a good looking He's dude. Asleep. Just five minutes. G.K. Chesterton wrote, Fairy tales do not tell children that dragons exist. Children already know that dragons exist. Fairy tales tell children that dragons can be killed. Hmm. Be like having kids while dealing with, with cases like that. I, I can't even imagine. That episode was really good. I think like everybody kind of seemed a little sus other than the, the mom of Katie. The dad still kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Even the way he like looked at his brother like that. I don't know. Like I, that was... The dad's vibes were, were weird for me still, even at the end, but... You know, he seemed concerned, but he didn't seem like... I guess maybe to, like, hold it together for the wife? I don't know, man. These kind of cases just make me sit... Like, it just... It rips me apart. Fucking gross. Let me know what y'all thought about this one, though, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.